book of love um, into gear because the book of Ralph, the book of yeah, yeah, because we got a Dibney file, so that in the comics that means good things for Ralph. So what's it going does. on? Yeah, Ralph and Sue, how do you do? Well, we saw yeah, Ralph and Sue, how do you do? Yeah, um, a boy named Sue. Uh, we saw that last year in the finale, Sue Dearborn. We saw that. Yeah. Well, we saw the Dearborn file, and we're gonna pursue that. Um, I can't say too much about it, but you know, look, that's a thing. Like that's now a thing that we're finally doing, and. That's probably the number one question that I got since I started playing this character was, well, what about Sue? What about Sue? What about Sue? And, you know, we knew when we started in season four with Ralph, if things go well, if he fits into the team, if, if it all works and all of that, all roads lead to Sue Dibney. Uh, Sue Dearborn first, but then Sue Dibney. I made this mistake. Yeah, and that's just something that I've been excited about. But I like that we did not put that in any earlier than we're putting it in now. I really, really do. Because um, I think it would have been too soon there. So he's got to get ready for that. He's got to mature for that. And now he's there. He's ready for that. He's ready for love. Yeah, that you mean last year? Yeah, I really, really enjoyed doing that. I mean, I, you know, any chance I get to work with Tom is amazing because uh, I learn a lot as an actor because his instincts are so good and his abilities are so good. I think we all know that with the five billion characters that he plays on the show. Um, and the, the fun thing about working with Tom is he's so quick and he's so witty. And especially with that character, that you just had to keep up, you know? And I like that because, like, I love doing some improv. I love just trying to keep up with that stuff. So that was super fun for me. I love those characters together. And I also loved how that kind of became what it became at the end of the season, like a mutually endearing kind of a thing. Yeah. Well, that was the thing. I mean, he figured everything out last year with Thawne and all that was going on with the dagger and all of that, you know? So I really enjoyed that being kind of where it came full circle and, and him seeing something that Sherlock didn't see, you know? I like that a lot, uh, and I'm excited that we got there with that because I love the detective aspect of the character. Super fun. Ralph's relationship and friendship with Cisco is mm -hmm. that affected now since Cisco basically has given up his powers and it seems like he left Star Labs for a while. Is that a strain on the friendship? Can you talk about that? You know, I don't think it's a strain on the friendship in the sense that uh, we haven't gotten to shoot to filming and digging into that too much. Obviously, we've, we've done some stuff there, but we haven't specifically gotten to too much of that yet, but we will. But, I, you know, from Ralph's standpoint, I think he said last year, I think he said this to Killer Frost, where he, you know, people should have the choice if they want to take that or not, if they want to participate in being a metahuman or not. I believe he said we should have, people should have the choice. And so I think for him, you know, if his friend is happy and his friend feels this is the right choice for him, he supports that completely. I don't think that would be a black mark on their friendship or anything like that, you know. They really bonded last year a lot, and those scenes were really, really fun to shoot and really fun stuff to do with those two guys together. Um, and I think what's funny about Ralph and Cisco is they're so different in so many ways, but they have they have a tremendous amount in common, actually, just in terms of the way they kind of deal with things with humor and sarcasm and all of that, and it's, it's really fun to put them together. What else? He is, and I can't say too much about it, but he... Yeah, 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 yeah. He, he is. He is. I can't say too much more about that, but that's going to be a thing. But he's also going to be more independent this year than he's ever been. Um, you know, in the sense of, I'm going to go solve whatever I'm going to solve. I'm going to go figure this out, you know. Um, but yes, there is going to be a wingman situation, yeah. I feel like your character's grown so much throughout each season he's been in, so are we yeah, going really to see grateful. maybe Ralph Dibney the leader at some point? You know, I don't know. Maybe on a long enough timeline, uh, that's above my pay grade. I mean, the one thing that I can tell you is is I, I love the progression of him. I, you know, I had a ball playing this guy in season four and doing, you know, the Tex Avery version of him and the total wacky loon, walking Looney Tunes, and I love still doing that stuff when those elements come in when he's out in the field or whatever, but... But I, I love the growth and progression, season four to the end of season four. And, you know, at the end of season four, when, when he died and the thinker took him and then when he came back, look, that obviously changed the guy. Like, that changed the guy tremendously. So that allowed us in season five to start him where he was, a little more mature, and then even grow him throughout season five. And we're going to see more of that now because he's going to be challenged by crisis. You know, what's going to happen in the crossover is going to challenge everybody tremendously and, 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 you know, everybody in their own way. But Ralph is going to be particularly affected by what might take place 
during crisis, and that's going to change him even further, you know? And then the introduction of, of Sue, which we'll get to at some point, you gotta change when that happens to you, you gotta evolve when that happens to you. You mentioned, oh. This is the last question, guys. Sorry, say again. In terms of how his costume looks? You know, we haven't talked about a redesign. I mean, season four, we started with, some people hated it, I loved it. I loved the onesie, the, the old blue thing. Like, I loved it. Uh, and then we got like the suit in episode 11 that year. And last year we had the suit. We haven't talked about uh, a redesign. I think if that happens, that's after crisis, I think, if anything like that happens. Because again, that's going to be uh, a tremendous game changer in terms of how, how the geography and how all of this Arrowverse world looks. I know people say this kind of stuff a lot, but it is going to change. It's going to change things forever. There's no doubt about it. And you know, nothing's going to be the same after crisis.